In Lakeshore, Mississippi, a tide of mysterious ants has swept across the Garcia's property. And now, ants are inside their home. Pesticides have failed to deal with the problem. And that was when I decided, well, maybe the state agriculture department can tell me something. Entomologist Joe McGowan from Mississippi State University is sent to investigate. I was expecting large numbers, possibly, but I wasn't sure what the levels would be. I put my foot down out of the car on the ground, and immediately my foot was covered with ants, thousands of ants. He couldn't believe it. He was in, like, amazement. It takes the expert no time to identify the invaders. Based on their coloration and movement, I knew right away that this was the hairy, crazy ant. Hairy, crazy ant sounds like a silly name, but this ant is no joke. Super colonies with thousands of queens can number in the billions. They cause large problems everywhere they've been, so I was really concerned. He explains these ants don't build mounds, but instead hide hundreds of small nests wherever there's shelter. I would say this was probably the worst infestation of ant species I had ever seen myself. I was overwhelmed. I mean, millions, billions. When Joe learns about the power outages, he solves that mystery too. The ants had actually started eating the insulation off the wiring and was allowing the wires to touch one another and shaw it out. So if one ant goes in, it gets electrocuted, it can send off an alarm pheromone, and that recruits other ants, so suddenly there can be hundreds or thousands of ants coming to see what the problem was, and they're all in there, and, and then they can short out equipment. That explained it right there. There's all my electrical problems in the house. Scientists don't know why the ants are attracted to electrical systems, but the damage they cause is potentially deadly. It was a scary thought to think, okay, can they fry my electric and burn my house down? Once an infestation has taken hold, it's virtually impossible to eliminate. Joe McGowan tells the Garcias that pesticides or any other extermination technique won't work. There are simply too many ants to kill them all. You could burn the whole yard and still somewhere is out in the woods is gonna be a nest of them that's gonna be right back within a month or so. You'll be right back to the same infestation that you was to begin with. They won. And knowing that little bitty insect drove me out, it's disgusted to me, actually.